in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear friends, in today's first reading, we see the moving prayer of Prophet Jeremiah for the people of Judah. The Lord had commanded Jeremiah not to pray for people of Judah because they had become so stiff-necked, so hard-heartened that they neglected the Lord. Even though the Lord warned through Prophet Jeremiah that he will go to the Babylonian exile, the false prophets among them gave the wrong message saying that we will not go into any exile. The Lord is not angry with us. Therefore, there is no war, no pestilence or no exile. Therefore, the people continued in their evil deeds to such an extent that the Lord himself says even Moses and Samuel were to intercede for these people. I will not listen to their prayer. Dear friends, we one can imagine to what extent people of Judah had betrayed their deliverer, their redeemer, the Lord who brought them out of land of Egypt to a land flowing with milk and honey. However, the prophet prays for these people, not because people are good, not because people there is anything good left, not because based on the good merits and virtues of the people, but rather the prayer of prophet Jeremiah now oriented towards the goodness and kindness of the Lord. For the sake of your name, O Lord, do not shame us. Do not harden your mercy seat. The prophet implores the mercy of God because the goodness and kindness of God is the basis of his prayer. Yet we see the Lord carrying out his will because people had completely abandoned the ways of the Lord. They had become wicked. Though the Lord has created each one of us in his own image and likeness, what makes some people to become evil? As we know, the Lord has created us in his image and likeness, yet he has given us the freedom to choose freely good and the bad, light and darkness. The same freedom that he gave as they were about to go into the land of promised land through, prophet, through Moses. Behold, I place life and death, darkness and light, Choose life that you may live. Therefore, to each one of us, the Lord has given us the freedom to choose life or death, light or darkness. If you choose life, then we will be blessed. If you choose darkness, then death will be our destiny. Just as our first parents, Adam and Eve, were led astray because of the doubt devil sowed in their hearts, about the goodness and kindness of the Lord. The Lord knows that when you eat this fruit, you will become like Him. Therefore, He has commanded you not to eat this. Eve doubted and Adam too did share in the doubt, or doubt of Eve in the goodness and kindness of the Lord. The same doubt Satan sows in each of our hearts and souls about the goodness and kindness of God, telling us that this deed, though it is wicked, it is good for you. Therefore, everybody is doing it, you too can do it. And once we do that sinful deed, he begins to accuse us, saying, You have done this. You cannot be you cannot be merited to call God's son. Therefore, you deserve punishment, you deserve death. Better for you to die rather than to live. Therefore, he makes our life so empty, so shattered, than before we committing the sinful deed. But if only we stand at the foot of the cross, we hear the forgiving prayer of Jesus. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Therefore, dear friends, it is moved with the temptation of the devil. People opt for evil deeds and abuse of the freedom, therefore causing suffering and pain in the world. However, it is not the devil who has the ultimate say, but it is the judgment of the Lord. Just as during the harvest, the weeds are collected and thrown into fire in the time of our death, because of our activities that we do in this world, we bear fruit, fruit for eternal life or eternal punishment. Therefore, let us not abuse our freedom which the Lord has given us. Let us not live as though we have no law unto ourselves. The law that should guide our life is the law of love and service 
as Jesus himself has shown us. Let us pray that we may translate the faith that we profess in the life that we live. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.